Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I wanted to share how to organize your life. That seems like a huge topic to cover, but really I just wanted to share different things that I have found to help keep my life organized. And some of these you might already be doing, but I really hope that you find this video helpful. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing is plan. We all have different lives and different responsibilities, so we definitely need to plan for that. And I just wanted to throw out a few different things that I have found to be very helpful. So you definitely need a calendar. I have found that using an app on my phone really helps. You can do Google Calendar. I've mentioned before that I really like Kozai, it's C-O-Z-I. You can do a calendar on there and different list. I used to just use that, that calendar, and then write my to-do list on there. Uh, I mentioned that when I first started YouTube. And then as I got more into YouTube, I just needed a little more room to write everything. So I started using a planner, I think for the past like three years, this is a personal planner. So I have enough room in here to plan out my day. So I, I do write my to-do list in here now and I plan out my videos and I have a section in the back to write notes for videos and different ideas for videos that I wanna do in the future. And when someone requests a video, I have a place to put it. So a planner works well for me now. When my kids were little and I was a stay at home mom, I didn't have a planner, but I know some moms do. So work, use what works for you. I do think it's really important to write a to-do list for each day. So I always write my to-do list the night before. I find this really helpful so that when I get up, I know exactly what I need to do and I can get started. So what I usually do is write my to-do list in order of when I am going to do it. I don't make it too complicated, but that just keeps me on track. So I know for some people, um, depending on the stage of life you're in or your personality or what works for you, having things blocked off and half hour or hour uh, sessions works really great. I actually do that sometimes, especially if I am really busy. Then I know like I need to get this done by nine, I need to get this done by 12, I need to get this done by two, and that really, really helps. If you choose to do that, I would just say give yourself enough time. So if it takes 20 minutes, give yourself a half an hour. If it takes 40, give yourself an hour because things overlap sometimes and you don't want to feel like, I'm not, I don't have enough time, I need to get to the next thing and you know, play around and see what works well for you, but those are just a few ideas. So we definitely need a place to plan and I highly recommend writing a to-do list for each day. I also really like to plan for the week ahead on Sunday. So I look at my calendar and see what I have going on, if I have any appointments or we have any activities or what have you. And then I like to plan the days that I am going to record videos and edit videos. I like to plan the days that I'm going to work out. I try to do four days a week. Sometimes it's only three depending on life. I try to get together with a friend once a week if I can. So I plan that out and just kind of, you know, have a overview of the week. I think that's a great way to go in the, into the week and know exactly what you have going on. Another way to organize your life is with routines. I talk a lot about cleaning routines and I have lots of videos on that and different things work for different people. At our old house, it was smaller. I could knock my cleaning out for the whole house in one day, like dusting, mopping, cleaning the bathrooms, all of that. I just went, went through it really quickly and I have videos on that and I can link that below but I was able to get it all done in one day. When we moved here, I first started doing it all in one day, but with trying to record and edit and you know, actually have a social life and everything, it was like I had to dedicate one whole day to cleaning and it just took me longer. So 
I broke it up and I have a video on that as well. So do what works for you, but having a specific routine just really helps you. Having a morning routine where, you know, you clean up after yourself, having an evening routine where you, you know, make sure you go to bed with a clean kitchen and a picked up home really, really help. I also like to have like a basic weekly routine and I talked about this a few years ago on YouTube, but now, because my kids are older, one thing that I pretty much always do is Monday is my grocery day. And I do a every two week big haul, which you guys have seen at Trader Joe's and Costco. So I do that, but in between, I still go shopping on Monday for produce and everything. And that just really helps me so that we always have enough food, we always have fresh produce and things like that. So having a specific grocery day really helps and it does not have to be Monday. I don't want everybody at the grocery store the same day. I'm kidding, kind of, but um, um, no, it, it can be on the weekend. It can be whatever day, one day after work, but it just really helps to have that. When my kids were little, you know, we had certain activities on certain day or I would try to make like, Tuesday a play date day or Thursday a library day or whatever and that just really helped me to make sure that I was doing all the things that I wanted to do and needed to do and my kids wanted to do as well. The next thing is list. I'm a huge list maker. Now I've talked about the to-do list. That's just for the day. I have a binder and in it I have lots of stuff but I like to keep everything in here so that it's not just like crammed in a drawer or lying all around so I have a list of things that I need to do but I don't have to do today so say I need to schedule an appointment for the doctor or dentist or I need to get this home repair done or I need to have some estimates for home projects done or what have you, whatever it might be. Just a list of things that you need to get to soon but they don't have to be done today and that way you don't have to keep it in your mind. You can just have that refer to it often or look at it on Sunday when you're planning out your week and see if you can get some of those things done. I also have a list of projects that we need to do around our home. When we first moved here, and you guys know we we renovated most of this house, my lists were like five pages long front and back. Now it's one page front and back. The whole back isn't full. So we've been knocking it out. But that way I didn't have to try to remember everything. I also have a list of clothing that I need my kids need, uh, especially when they were little, um, and I, you know, they need new jeans or they need new tennis shoes or they need new church shoes or new navy socks or sports socks or whatever. Just a list so that way you don't have to feel like you need to rush out and get it today. Sometimes we do have to do that for our kids, but um, maybe it's just like I need to be looking for this when I find a deal or next time I'm out, I need to pick up some athletic socks for my kids or whatever. It's just so you don't have to keep, try to remember everything and it's not all on your to-do to -do list for today. I find that having a clothing list for myself really helps so that I get the items that I actually need instead of going into the store and like, oh, that's a cute top or, or those are really cute shoes and I don't have anything to wear them with. Now, I do like to get a cute top every once in a while, but you know what I mean, just having a list of things and that way when you see a deal on something you need, you can pick it, pick it up. I also have a list of things that I need to buy for our home. So one thing that I just recently did, I was doing my zone cleaning in the kitchen and if you don't know what zone cleaning is, I'll leave the video links for you because I know a lot of you guys already know about that. But I was going through my cabinets and getting rid of things that were just really worn out or never used, but there were a few things in there that I just really needed to replace. So some of them I couldn't get rid of until I found a replacement, but we like to stick with our budget and everything, and so I just wrote down a list of things that I wanted to replace, and that way um, when I'm out and I see a good deal or find 
whatever it is that I like, I can pick it up. But again, I don't have to try to remember every single thing and it's on there. Um, there are different things that I would like to get for our home, but again, I don't wanna go buy it all at one time or I wanna wait until it goes on sale or I find a good deal. And that way it's all there and I can reference it often. So Another way to organize your life is to have a budget. I've done videos on this in the past and I'll link them below. We still use just pen and paper. So basically for any budget, you can use an app on your phone, you can use a spreadsheet, you can use whatever works for you. I just use a pen and paper because that's what John wants to do. I've recommended different apps and he's like, those are great, but I'm just so used to doing it this way. I'd rather just do this. So that's what we do. Um, but basically for any budget, you just need to write down all of your expenses. If you give, have that in your budget. If you have spending money, make sure that's in your budget. If you go out to eat, once a month or once a week or whatever that's in your budget, budget for groceries, and all of the things that you spend money on, make sure it's in your budget. Then you need to keep track of all of your income. John and I both have a very irregular income. We make it work for us because usually we can tell a month ahead what our income will be for the next month. So we make it work and it's fine, but, um, making sure that you write down all of the money that's coming in. Some people have the same check every single week or every single month, and it's really easy for them to budget. But if you sell things on eBay or Craigslist and you use that as part of your income, make sure you put that down. Um, what, whatever income you have, make sure, and then you wanna make sure that your income is more than your bills. So that's just basically a budget. I get asked about it a lot of times, and I know that you guys know this, but I just wanted to share that. So whatever works for you, make it simple and just have a budget so that you know exactly where your money is going, that you have money for savings, you have money for retirement, you have money for all of your bills and you're able to spend a little bit of it too. The last thing I wanted to share is meal plan. This is so helpful and I have mentioned it so many times and I recently did a video where I meal planned, went to the grocery store and you saw me putting away groceries and things like that. And I also have a dedicated video to how to meal plan for two weeks. If you're a month long meal planner, I used to do that and I have a video on that too. So I'll link those below in case those are helpful, but I, I very much recommend meal planning because it helps you not to have to run to the grocery store all the time. It helps you to have a plan so that you're not running out to eat or grabbing fast food because you have something thought out. You can check either the night before and put something in the refrigerator from the freezer to let it thaw, or if you want to make a slow cooker meal, putting it all together either the night before and then just putting it in the fridge, or you can do it all in the morning. It just really, really helps you. It helps you uh, to stay on budget so that you're not running back and forth to the grocery store. And I'll just really quickly tell you what I use. Don't let this be intimidating. So I love to cook and I have so many recipes. This is my binder, but I also keep my menu in here. So big. Um, I have a whole video on this, I'll link it. I keep my menu in here. Um, I keep extra paper in here. I keep a list of all of my dinners in here so that I can just easily reference it so that if I can't think of an idea, I have a whole list. Hello, how can you think, how can I not think of an idea for dinner? I have so many um, recipes, but it does sometimes feel like you make all of the same things. So anyway, I highly recommend um, meal planning. And if you love to cook and just play in the kitchen like I do, sometimes I just leave a spot and it says create. And that way I just make sure I have plenty of food in the kitchen and I will play around. I'll just like play around with different ingredients that I have. Sometimes I create meals just out of what I have in the refrigerator. So you can still be really creative and meal plan, but I highly recommend it. It's great for your budget. It's great for your sanity. <laughs>
I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know some ways that you keep your life organized.